Welcome back to my channel. <sighs> Here we are. We are like halfway through the year and I wanted to talk about some bookish content. So if you're into that type of thing, go ahead and like and subscribe to my channel so that we can talk about books and fun stuff. I do do other fun things, particularly bath and body works, fragrance, body care, shopping, and um, lots of traveling. So if you love that type of thing, you're just here for a good vibe. Welcome to my channel. All right, so I wanted to do the mid-year freak out challenge. Um, nobody tagged me. <laughs> I just tagged myself. So yeah, so I wanted to answer the questions. The questions are down below just so that we could talk about books. Let me know your thoughts as we get into it. I do have my list right in front of me so you'll see me looking at it so that I can reference it. Also, although you can see my bookshelf, I also have a bookshelf here and one in my living room. I am a library girly, so I don't have a lot of the books in front of me and I will try to show the pictures of those books. So let's get into it without further ado. So the first question is, how was your reading? How has your reading gone so far? My reading has gone excellent. In terms of the amount of books, compared to the past four years. Here are my stats from the last four years. I am down, but that's okay. I work, I'm a wife, I have children, I got things going on and I managed to fit in 32 books this year. So I'm only comparing myself to myself. So the volume has been okay compared to the past four years, but the quality I have had 12 out of 31 five-star reads. And as a reader, you cannot ask for more than that. So that's like 20, 30% of my books being five-star reads. Yes. Um, the best book that I have read so far in 2024, I can't just pick one. So I'm going to go with Blood at the Root by Ladarion Will Williams and Diary of Blood by S.G. Gibson. Those were five star reads. They evoke so much emotion. They are culturally rich and I really enjoyed those books. Um, the best sequel that I've read so far in 2024 was Ruthless Vows by Rebecca Ross. Um, Actually, that's the only sequel that I've read this year. I tend to start series and not finish them. So I think that that's a goal that I should be working on um, for this year now that I'm able to see that. Um, a new release that I haven't read yet. Um, so I'm not really sure on new releases. I kind of just come across books organically. I don't do a lot of research. So this book came out in 2022, but I do want to say Demon's Dream. Um, it is an 800 pounder tomb of a book. It is urban fiction. Two things that kind of uh throw me off my game as far as being scared but i'm looking forward to reading it it came out in 2022 but let's just say it's new to me okay so that's going to be that one um other books that i have not read the black woods by brandy colbert the princess of thornhill drive and this is by kalia moreau I don't really read synopsis because I don't like the books to be spoiled. Fish of the Wicked by Danielle Page. I want to read Dragon Fruit by Makai Lucifer and Where Sleeping Girls Lie by Abike Edime. Um, so those are some of the new releases that I hope to get into before the end of the year. Next book is the biggest disappointment of the year and that unfortunately is The Familiar by Lee Bardugo. This was one of my highly anticipated reads and it just fell short to me in so many different ways. Other books um, I would say uh, I would add is The House of Marion by JL. Again, that was one of my most anticipated reads and it fell short in the character development and the plot and Laura of the Wild. Um, and that was really upsetting to me because I was really looking forward to reading about Faye and it just missed the mark on so many different elements when it comes to the building of that world. Biggest surprise uh, was of reading was Diary of Blood by S.G. Gibson. Um, I usually don't read vampire types of stories, so that like really threw me for a loop. And Summer 
at the bluffs by sunny hostin i have been experimenting with getting into reads that um, align with the seasons and i typically don't read a lot of general or speculative like fiction and that was just like an amazing story i talked about it a little bit on my tiktok if you're not following me on tiktok follow me on tiktok um a favorite new author, it, I'm going to go with the debut to me because I don't believe that this author is new to the writing world, but that is J.J. McAvoy. Um, and this author wrote Aphrodite and the Duke. That completely took me by surprise as well. Um, that is a Regency romance series. Think Bridgerton, but with like black people. And I just ate it up. So I was looking at their catalog and I see that the catalog is rich and I'm excited to get into it. Newest fictional crush um so i'm a married woman i cannot see i'm legally blind and we don't do crushes um respectfully but um a character that i feel if i was in a book world i would be with it was it's ezra from it'd be ezra from a long a love song for Ricky Wild by Tia Williams. Ezra is man, honey. He's dark, he's muscular, he is from the old school, he's Southern, and baby, if you know, you know. His favorite character, um, that sentiment from uh, that one time I got drunk and saved a demon. Um, it was my first time reading like a monster fantasy romance type situation, but sentiment is hilarious. So <laughs> I just want to say sentiment. I can, she just, I just love everything about her. I love her representation. I love that she's funny. I love everything that she did in the story. So let's go ahead and say sentiment for that one. Um, next is a book that made me cry. Um, a love song for Ricky Wilde by Tia Williams. If you know, you know, literally read this book and I kind of cried several times, but something happened toward the end of the story and I literally was sobbing like a baby. So definitely this book. Also, Heartless Hunter. If you know, you know. <laughs> Sobbing like a baby. I, I, mm. um, other books that made me cry, honorable mentions are Double Lives, if you've read that one. This one is by Mary Monroe. She is the messy queen, but if you read that one, you're gonna cry and A Diary of Blood because it was written so beautiful and something that happened in the story. It happened beautifully, but baby, we was still crying. A book that made me happy. A love song for Ricky Wilde. Most beautiful book that I've I've bought so far this year. Five Broken Braid Blades by My Corlin, and it is sprayed at the edges. Bought like this from the store. I didn't have to get anything um, specially ordered or anything like that. And I'm actually noticing uh, this is happening for a lot of books so i'm daring to hope that this is a trend that authors and publishers are getting onto so look at those spray edges um what books do i need to read by the end of the year okay so this is my tbr um, actually, this is where I'm filming. I got my tripod docked up there. So um, I want to read Some Kind of Happiness, The Last Tale of the Flower ba Bride by Roshani Chokshi. I need to get into uh, Red Rising by Pierce Brown. And I want to read the next one in the Scythe series by Neil Schusterman, um, which is The Toll. Over here, these are some classics that I need to read which include the Island Sisters. This author is actually from the area so I wanted to read that one. I, I need to read The Love Hypothesis by Allie Hazelwood um, because everybody talks about it. I started The House in the Pines by Anna Rays. Um, I got pretty far in it um, and I just don't know why I stopped. I want to read Pachinko and The Extraordinary Union by Alyssa Cole. 
more books I'm trying to get into. I started really collecting books in 2020. Um, and that's when I had to build a, a new bookshelf. So I got a stack of books that are going to, um, I have to read before they self destruct. So let's go ahead and let me run the list off for them. So this is Blood Mark. This is the second in the Legend Born um, series. I've tried it twice already. I can't get into it. Breed is annoying, but I want to read it because I want to see this series through. So I have to see what ends up happening to Bree. So let me just continue to read that. Um, this is the Declaration of the Rights of Magicians by H.G. Perry. At some point in life, I really wanted to read it. I don't know why I stopped, um, but I'm going to read this by the end of the year or it's going to get donated. Next is Witches Steeped in Gold, and this is by CNN Smart. Um, I really wanted to read this at the time, but for some reason, I just can't manage to read it, but I'm going to get into it before the end of the year. Blood Debt by Terry J. Benton Walker. Brian Greenwood's All the, All the Ugly and Wonderful Things. I got several Kristen Hanna books, um, but I really want to start with The Nightingale because everyone says that it is such a banger. I believe this book was the first of books that were on my shelf, and that was The Last Magician by Lisa Maxwell. Back in 2019, everybody was saying that this was a banger. For some reason, I just can't manage to crack it open. And lastly, To Sleep in a Sea of Stars by Christopher Paulini. This book, when it first came out, I wanna say in 21, everybody was talking about it, but to me, it's a tomb of a book. And um, I'm having a hard time holding a lot of hardcovers, so I just haven't picked this one up, but I have no excuse. I'm gonna get into it before the end of the year. Watch me work. Favorite video that I've made, so far this year and it's not even a book video but it is me running my first half marathon it's my first video it's my favorite video on this channel i have like over 300 <laughs> videos um but it's my favorite video because number one i did something that i did not think that i was going to do and i literally watched myself complete a goal and many people in this lifetime don't get that so that was probably one of my favorite i think i look cute i did the things i had family in there my favorite person well one of my favorite people which is my twin and her twins some other of my favorite people were in there and i just love that video nothing too deep or cinematic about it i just love the content of it just for myself and that i was able to televise where i stood in that moment um which video do I think that I think what flop did well? Um, Bath and Body Works. <laughs> um, and for me, like going over a thousand, just me sitting in the car talking shit, like that is weird to me. Um, so that is what did well compared to the other videos on my channel upcoming videos i'm excited to make is more wrap-ups i need to get back on that when i first started i was kind of good at it but lately i haven't been i'm trying to get back into well i have been doing weekly vlogs um that center around my bookish life um because I just be out here just outside um, and then I want to explore some more fitness content. At first I thought I wanted to venture into family vlogging but I don't think I want to do that. I think I just want to center myself <laughs> and obviously I'm not ashamed to put my I'm not afraid to put my kids on camera or anything like that but just pretty much that. Um, one day I kind of want to do a Q&A with my honey um, just kind of like talking about being married. <clears throat> so yeah, that's probably later. He is not comfortable on the camera. Um, channel goals before the end of the year. I definitely want to grow to 1K. I feel like we're going to do it. Um, so I definitely want to grow to 1K. Um, I want to enter into the YouTube creator fund. Um, I want to upgrade my equipment. I film on my camera. Um, I want to get a camera um, specifically for vlogging and filming. I want to have an Apple device so that I can professionally edit. I do everything on my phone. 
Um, so I want him to upgrade that. And that's pretty much it. Like I, 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 I do miss a lot of library um, videos. I literally go to the library probably every other day. Um, so I probably should be filming more about that. But again, the barrier of being of my phone is space. And so like I gotta pace out, but I really do enjoy YouTube. So let me know what you thought about this video. If you are a content creator and you are watching this video, boo, I tagged you. Love you, okay, bye.